you know, especially if you are already on a treatment plan, you already know what medications you take, um, what providers that you see on a regular basis. When you're looking at health plans, and it's important to do this every year, don't assume that just because you have the same employer or they're using the same health company, health plan company, that everything's going to be the same. Every year, there are going to be differences. Uh, the co-payments may be different, that sort of thing. So if you take prescription drugs, definitely look at where your drugs fall in those tiers and what the requirements are. Because like I said, the coinsurance can be extremely different than a co-payment, especially if you're on a biologic medication that could be thousands of dollars uh, a month list price, 20% of that is gonna be high compared to a flat copay. So definitely look at that. Um, if the plan materials don't give specifics, don't be afraid to call uh, the health plan to ask. I'm on this drug, I wanna know, you know what the, uh, cost sharing requirements are. I want to know if you have fill limits or if I require a different dose or things like that. I want to know what your exceptions process is. Be aware of that. Um, I'm sure we'll get into some detail about that a little bit later. Uh, also make sure your providers in, are in network. Provider directories change and networks change frequently. So it's always good to, to go through your list of doctors and make sure that they're all still covered. Um, and I, I think another important thing is to uh, see if there are any other sort of requirements or prohibitions or limitations that health plans might be introducing on how you might be able to use things like manufacturer assistance, copay assistance, and things like that. I think that copay assistance is really important to take into factor because if you have huge deductibles, which I'm pretty sure just about everybody does at this point in time, if you have copay assistance and you time things right, it'll eat things up. As far as your deductible, your out-of-pocket costs go, you just want to be careful that if you have a copay accumulator plan, which is illegal in some states, so you want to know about that kind of stuff, that's when your plan will take the manufacturer to not count it towards your deductible or your co-insurance and say you're still responsible for it. You just want to make sure that you're getting everything that you can to take care of your out-of-pocket costs so that you're ready to go with everything else that's lined up. So I'll try to get our patients to have their treatment before they need an echocardiogram or whatever else they need to have taken care of. 